then I think MD 63, right? MD 61, we have entered the demand and we have ran the MRP. It was for RDA 4. Correct. So we have uh, two different demands. Okay. So Surya, what we have done uh, in a previous session, we have created Tata Punch, right? Where we left. So similar uh, case, sir. we are yeah similar case yes, we are sir. doing it here there is some issue with the sales order uh, goods issue that is post goods issue pgi we say so uh, due to which that uh, complete cycle will be not happening okay because i want to show you once the sales order delivery is done okay how the impact yeah. will come in, in in our screen that uh, that was we are trying to do in our uh, previous sessions okay with tata punch Okay. Um, so I will talk to the admin uh, who is maintaining this server to fix that uh, sales issue. So just a heads up, hurry for you okay. as well. Okay. Um, all right. So now we have this uh, plan orders. So plan orders will be further converted to our um, production orders. But I mentioned we, we will be... Um, bringing this stock for the raw materials also first so we have this purchase requisitions so i will convert one of the requisitions for one of the raw materials rest we will do the mass upload so just to understand how the purchase cycle also works because this is an integration between pp and mm okay so here we can go ahead and create to purchase order okay so uh, here nothing has been copied just select on this and click on this adopt okay so whatever is the purchase requisition the same quantity same dates delivery dates everything will be copied here and we can turn this off afterwards So this will require a purchase organization and purchasing group. These are the responsibilities of our MM team. Okay. So it's asking for a supplier. We have used a supplier. Let us see if this also works. So we are saying this engine will cost us 1000 USD. And this is asking, like a warning, can we meet our delivery date? Okay. So it is showing as 10th, like two days after that. So we can ignore that. And let us check if there are any errors or not. So there are no errors. And what we can do is we can just click on save. Okay. Let us refresh. So this purchase uh, requisition has become now a PO item, which is purchase order. And this is our number. Okay. If you go back, if you want to display it, you can go and display it. And if you drop down here, you can see the header. Okay. And a release strategy. What is release strategy? So we have two step of release strategy, which is code one uh, and code two. Okay. By this means, I am sending one order to my vendor to supply me an engine. Okay. So this engine is expensive. Okay. Right now it is only $1,000. But in real time scenario, this could be one of your expensive items, which you are going to procure from vendor. So before it goes to the vendor, you have to pass it on to the uh, either purchasing manager okay he will approve this by looking at okay whatever is there it's good or is it really required or not okay after that another level of approval is required maybe his manager okay or the purchasing head so these are the uh, release strategy once they both have approved you uh, vendor can give you the supplies and after supply you can uh, do Miro. Okay, that is like not our activity, MM team. So he will pay 
to the vendor. So let us go uh, for the release strategy. You can't release it here. The transaction code is first of all, this is uh, if you want to create a transaction, sorry, a purchase order, it is ME21N. Okay. So purchase order is ME21N. Okay. To release the PO, it is M e 29 n okay so similarly this is 21 n 22 n and 23 n 22 is for your change 23 n is for display okay and this uh, we will release like i just explained we will release this order we will just copy this once again we'll do slash n or let us do me 29n so this is same sometimes if you want to release okay and then it is not uh, is it same no i did not open same transaction no yes so this is my release po which i was talking about and this is me 29n okay sometimes this uh, purchase order may not be correct if you are opening multiple screens and working with multiple orders so whatever is the latest order in your previous screen it will open how to update this because this is grayed out i can't enter it here you need to put other purchase order and put your real order which you want to release okay if this is not the correct one here and then you can click on other document so what will happen the order which you want to release will come here so i'll click on release so one is released and second is released usually in the real time scenario what will happen if this person uh, like a purchasing manager it will click here it may uh, we can configure like that he has to enter his password okay so he will enter the password and then again this purchase order will go to the uh, purchasing head he will release and pop up will come and he also has to enter his password so that it means it is approved by both of them okay and then you have to click on save so once this is done you have to go to Migo again okay you have to go to the goods receipt choose purchase order and put your order number here Hmm. we are doing 101 okay so you see when once i have entered automatically audi engine has taken in this line item with five quantities okay using the purchase order number i can go ahead and see this is my purchase order data again i double click i can jump into the display mode okay if this is a batch managed uh, before saving a batch will be created okay and we have to see where it is going so this is going as per my storage location maintained in my material master into 171c for this plant quantity we can see and we can click on item okay and click on check Okay, looks like this um, engine has been copied from a batch managed. One minute, let me remove this.
okay currently we don't have any stock of this item so we we could remove it if any stock was loaded in the system system will not allow us to um, remove or it will say that your any existing uh, stock will be still batch managed and any future stocks will be non batch but usually system does not allow us so we should be very careful we have to restart this we go so now you see that batch is gone and post okay now we'll go to the mmbe screen which is for my stock okay i'll see if my five stock has come or not okay so a uh, stock of five engines has arrived on my seven, uh, 171c location okay with my purchase order conversion from purchase requisition to purchase order similarly uh, if you want you can do this so what i'll do uh, hari you can work on this okay in the second line item so we have two demands of 5 plus 5 right so i'm working on this 5 you can take another 5 and you can uh, do your testing also okay i'll leave this for you okay hmm. so similarly you can uh, do for the windshield if you want okay so both are purchase uh, requisitions right now let me change one minute i have to click here Click on header. Seventeen ten, seventeen ten. We can use the same supplier. Okay, the supplier can supply me engine, windshield, and my tires also. Hmm, maintaining by purchasing. Okay. Okay, so there is no purchasing um, activated here. What we can do, we can do MM zero one. Okay, that will be creation mode. Put the same material, and again we are saying copy from this. Okay, industry is my mechanical material type is ROH, and now I can extend my purchasing view. So I'll say copy from this storage location 171C. Though we don't have this already maintained, but it's okay. Okay, so here we can just enter. If we give all this information, we don't have to give uh, in our order. Okay, the purchase order. but it's okay we we can give directly there so these are non batch managed and then we can just save it then we need to again see if it allows if does not okay it allows so windshield i'm saying that only 100 dollars okay i need to restart this click on go back no 
and then again convert this so that new changes effects So click on check if there are no errors you can just save it refresh and same process go to Migo. Okay. we have it here we'll put it here okay so if we don't release we are getting this message you have to go to me 29 me 29 n release save restart the storage location has not copied let us put it here purchasing data click on check and click on post now if i refresh i will get my five quantity and my one of my purchase order is gone okay So this you can go ahead and do it by yourself. Now we are left with tires, Audi tires. In a sequence, in a sequence order, we have to do sir this all this. No, 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 there is no sequence. I, so either you can do it your tires or engine or windshield anything okay this is actually mm -hmm. an that is that is one but uh, basic data on one more i oh, know sir just i am asking regarding uh, basic data on mrp one two three four and you have selected all these things and i have also practiced all these things but uh, yeah. when you do all these things after that only we have to do this thing uh, pr and po and Correct. Uh, so first of all, uh, you have to maintain your master data. Okay. So the material master first, uh, and sure. then you then you need to yes. uh, create your bomb uh, routing. Okay, work centers. So once you are done with all those okay. things, okay. then you have to uh, enter the demand, oh. then run MRP, and then you have to do this process. So basically the stock will be provided by the okay. mm team but for our understanding our cycle we are doing this okay okay else else uh, what will happen okay. uh, the production order will be created okay and if there is no stock the mm team will bring the stock and then our uh, production activity can be continued what exactly pp people will be doing sir and this is what you have we are giving this data now, sir. This basic data MRP one two three four. You are giving this all that. What exactly PP people will be doing? Exactly. What are the modules in this we are doing? So that's what my doubt is. Okay. One minute. Mm. Let views and purchasing. So see, uh, all these views, okay? So from all these views, your uh, MM team will give you the plan data, the purchasing views. Sales team, if it is a finished product, will give you the sales data. 
ओके यू बीइंग अ प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग गाय और द सपोर्ट कंसल्टेंट यू विल टेक द इनपुट्स फॉर एमआरपी 1 2 3 4 एंड वर्क स्केड्यूलिंग व्यू ओके सो वंस यू हैव टेकन दिस ऑल दिस इनपुट विल इन द इंप्लीमेंटेशन प्रोजेक्ट दिस विल गो एज अ टेम्पलेट टू द एमएम गाय फॉर लोडिंग ऑल द डेटा फॉर ऑल द मटेरियल्स this is again an mm task which we are doing right now okay once this is done uh your demand okay entering is the activity of production guy into md61 okay so once the demand is there either you run mrp uh, in the foreground which is manually or you we will schedule as a support consultant or during implementation we will uh, Uh, um, create as a program which will run in the back uh, back end automatically okay so we will have to ask do you want uh, mrp to be run any time before your business or once you are done with your business so that you get all this data so you get your plan orders you get your purchase requisitions okay, okay. so once Sir, you are uh, sorry i didn't get your question Uh, that we have to accept and we have to check all these things, sir. That's it. Uh, right. So during the production, there are many things, right? You have to yeah. see if you want to automate the uh, goods issue. Do you want to automate the uh, goods receipt? Okay. And how the confirmation is happening? Are you doing partial confirmation or final confirmation? So uh, the main task is during your configurations okay and during your master data once this is done this is like a day to day job which they are going to do okay they are going to create plan orders they are going to uh, create into convert into production orders and then they will do the confirmations and then costing team will do the settlement this is the day to day job but how to uh, configure the system you should be knowing according to the business need okay. we can edit the, the those master data things so sir if we done anything wrong or uh, something yeah, yeah. if we so see master data master only... data is something which you can change okay or create your own also any time all right uh, uh, but the configurations in the system if it is a sub implementation project you can do changes but if it is a support project you need many approvals okay so business had approval why you need to do it you need you need to provide the justifications and all because that that requirement will come okay. from business they will give you that okay we want to okay. update this process or some xyz process right and accordingly you will do you will not okay. do by yourself well we are selecting that mrp 1 2 3 4 and purchasing and all all these mm-hmm. things sir when we are configuring mrp 1 and um, we are saving the saving this no, sir. after we are configuring we are saving and it is returning back to create mat- again it is re- returning back to that one sir. when i am doing uh, it will continue to mrp 2 or it will be, it will come back and we have to configure it again so i think you are getting confused configuration is your anything into spro settings okay and ah spro settings only sir every time i have to i am still not able to follow your question ah no, sir mrp1 we are configuring now sir after we are no. we are doing it we are saving it we are saving it after saving no. we we should continue to mrp2 no sir no 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 you should be doing mrp1 2 3 4 work scheduling view at one go okay. and during practice MRP. you have to maintain all the views starting from basic data 1 to costing 2 okay. okay all costing the views two. you need to maintain and then save it you you don't maintain one view and then save it then again open oh, like that it okay, will take okay, forever okay, okay. Okay, okay. That's the wrong, that's the wrong word. I am saving every time, sir. So that's the problem. No, 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 no. Let me let me back to that thing. Okay, okay. After finally, we have to save it. Correct. Once you're done with costing two view, then okay. you have to save it. Okay. Okay.
Okay, this also looks like a batch managed. Okay, so now all three components stock we have got. Okay, so required 20 pieces are already there for my five quantities. Now let us go back to the RDA for the finished product. So here we have to click on production order to convert it and then the dates are automatically there click on this missing part list okay okay so there is no issues it's available so we have released okay so earlier we have crtd okay we have released We'll go to the components and we are able to see it is available. Okay, the storage location is missing. Let me give it 171C. Seventeen one C 171C. And this is getting back flushed. Let me remove it. Okay, maybe this has a back flush setting in the MRP2 view. So what will happen? Okay, if I did not remove it and I go to Migo, you in the Migo you will get only two uh, uh, raw materials. Okay, Audi engine and Audi tires. Windshield will not show because once you're doing confirmation using confirmation, back flush will happen. So you may get confused, okay, that hey, why it is not coming in Migo, but the reason was it is backflushed. So just check the operations also, everything is fine. And then you can save it. So this is a warning message for the cost we can ignore and refresh so you see this is a production order which is created for me now the next screen uh, next uh, thing what we need to do is we need to do the confirmation and then do the goods issue okay or either way we can do either you can do goods issue then you say confirmation and then you do the gr So let us do the goods issue. We are already in the Migo screen. We go to goods issue, order, and the movement type is 261. If you're bringing the stock for the final product, it will be 101. Okay, but if you are issuing any raw materials, it will be 261. So now all of my uh components okay the three components are here i say item okay click on item okay click on item okay and click on check 
fine there are no issues i have my storage locations and the required quantity and i can click on post so now i go back to my order let me copy it again to co zero uh, three display okay so if you see this is gmps okay goods movement posted once we are done the goods issue there is no change here delivered why because we have not delivered any of my finished product yet i have not done goods receipt yet okay how do i know my goods issue are done i need to click on go to and click on good documented goods movement and i can see that 261 has been done okay for these three materials go back my another way of checking is slash n mb 51 okay this can give you entire data even if you don't know the material names and everything you can still find it out so you need to give the movement type you know it is 261 that okay i have issued and then you have done it on today's date okay either you can search by your username also whatever you are using and execute so for today's date posting date 261 movement i have done this goods issue okay so if you double click on this material document it will take you to the same screen and you can see who has done this doc info okay where it has been done it has been done in the uh, migo underscore gi though we have done in migo it will so show as migo gi okay if it is migo gr it will show migo gr okay it's it has gone to uh, and the reservation was created and this is your gl account and this is your order so sometimes uh, users will say that this uh, posting has been done i don't know for which order so here you can find under account assignment so this is my production order so any doubts here till uh, these steps So similarly, if you want to find the goods receipt, you will have to do 101. Yes. Individually, we have to do this, sir. No, this is just a report for your information purpose. So once you okay. have done, either you can go in the order, if you know the order, okay, you can go, the, go in the order, you can click on go to and documented goods movement. So you, you can see that, okay, these uh, are issued to my order. But if you want to see like um, the report, okay, sometimes users will ask you during implementation that how will I know and where it has gone. So you can tell them this MB51 report. In MB51 report, you can search using material, you can search using plant, location, batch, supplier, your username, okay, or the posting date. So a lot of option is here. This is very useful report, which is always used by most of the consultants. Let it be sales and distribution SD guy. He will search using 601 for his uh, post goods issue PGI. We will be searching as 101. 101 will give you production orders as well as purchase orders. So see, I'll show you. So we have done three purchase orders today. Okay. These are not my pro uh, production orders. Okay, these are my purchase orders which I have just released and I have completed see purchase order data. Similarly, once I'm done with the goods receipt of my uh, purchase or uh, sorry, the production order, it will still come in the same report with 101. So purchase order or any 101s, okay, will come here. So you need to go inside and identify exactly is this for a purchase order or your production order so let us continue now so this is my order we have done the goods issue next step is co 11n which is my confirmation of production order i have to give my order number 
my operations 0010 we can see how many operations we have so we have 0010 20 and 30 okay and then we have this uh, partial confirmation or final confirmation what is the difference between partial and final so if i am uh, still pending with any of my um, work okay then i will do partial confirmation and with every confirmation i have to maintain how much yield okay or how much quantity i'm getting okay so with all the operations you are getting only five quantities you are not getting lesser then you can say that okay i'm getting five yield so i'll mention five or you can click on actual data okay with actual data your setup time which you have maintained in your routing will also pop up automatically so i say this is my final confirmation okay and i will